Morning legends, I have just finished an hour with a young 10 year old who is working hard at his game. He's working hard at his fitness. His fitness levels aren't very good at the moment so we've done a fair bit of running uh, and uh, a lot of hitting. He also plays with a fair bit of fear so we're just trying to get that fear out of him and back himself to hit the ball. Um, the Mogress, the Mo's looking pretty good at the moment, got to have another shave again. But no better way to start a, a week than for a young player to hit balls and do some fitness on a Monday morning. Great for me to get out and about, get out at the house early on a Monday. Really enjoy these early morning sessions. Ready, two, come on. Monday means I am sending out my Monday motivation email this morning. So I'm just collating all the information, all the resources and links that I've found throughout the last week or so. Just also doing some research, trying to find some extra good content for you guys. Um, something I send out every week to give you guys value and help you guys learn and sort of show you what I'm reading and learning but, so that you can learn along with me. Transcendental meditation. Cooking brekkie, got an egg there, got uh, egg, avocado, tomato, onion and mushroom for brekkie and over here I've got my learning happening, I've got Gary V um, YouTube channel with Tim Ferriss, two absolute gurus uh, learning about mentors and some lessons from the world's um, best performers. Tim Ferriss wrote this book, Tribe of Mentors, where he interviewed he interviewed 130 of the world's hasn't gotten as much top performers across so multiple industries. So really interested about just because, um, learning uh, from these guys. Through. I think it's great that um, Tim Ferriss has called his book Tribe of Mentors. He hasn't called it Tribe of Coaches. Obviously, our business is called Cricket Mentoring, and we are mentors. That means we teach and we guide players. We don't coach them and tell them what they have to do but we're there to listen and create relationships and be a mentor. We've been there, we've done it, we've played a lot of cricket, we've been professional cricketers, Simon and myself, Jamesy and everyone else involved here. We are, we're mentors and we, we aim to help aspiring cricketers really be successful. Just about to jump onto a video call with a guy, his name's Michael, he's the head of the Australian operation for Huddle. Huddle is an American-based company that is a video analysis, video capturing tool for sports. So just going to chat with him. I've been introduced by Waldo, uh, my mentor, Andrew Walton, who is the founder of My Cricket Interact Sports, an absolute legend, someone I really look up to. And he's got a lot of great contacts in the sports um, business space. So he's put me in contact with Michael to discuss possibly um, using their service for our membership site, which we're looking at um, unrolling um, very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Looking forward to this chat. Three on three. Wait, eight full work with hands, four on four. Yes, Callum, much better. Head forward at the ball, five on five. Good set. Yeah, lovely shot. Six off the over. You won't even got two there. Hey, single off every ball. Good boy, one over to go. Nearly catchable, keep it on the ground. No run. Seven off eight. Oh, let's run it two. Quick. And go, come on. Get a pace. Alright. Seven off nine. I might have got a single, but I'm not giving it to you. No run. Seven off ten, good shot. Go. Boy, I'll be turning your shoulder shape to get it there. 8 off 11, last one. No run. One lesson done, just heading across the road to get a subway for lunch. Then it is all systems go for the Arvo. Lesson 2.15 to 3, 3 to 4, 15 minute break, and then 4.15 right through to 8 p.m. So busy afternoon. 
Really looking forward to getting stuck in with all these players. Monday's always good for coaching. I'm here with young gun Travis Crane. How old are you, Trav? Uh, 15. Well, how did you go last week? You had some success, I hear. Yeah, I did pretty well. Got 61. 61 off how many balls? About 90. And who was it for? Uh, Wesley. Who was it against? Scotch. In school cricket here in Perth. And what did you do well that day, do you think? Uh, pulled well. Excellent. What did I say to you afterwards on our chat on Facebook? What did I ask you to do? Uh, reset for the next day. Yep, and did I ask you to write things down? Yeah. Yep, got to always write things down when you're learning. What's something you learnt from that innings? Um, to be patient and wait for the hitable ball. Excellent. Good stuff, mate. Well done. Cheers. Just finished my day of coaching. I had nine lessons today. It went very well. I've had Chris here this evening, my last lesson. Now waiting for his sister to come and pick him up. How'd you go today, mate? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. What, what were you working on? Um, playing on the leg side and not letting my head tip over. Yeah, the same issue that I'm going through that is so common with a lot of players is just not falling to the offside, not letting your weight fall to mid-off. So we're just working hard with Chris. And could you feel the difference when you got your weight going into the right position? Yeah. 100%. So Chris is a really determined young player. He's been through our peak performance program. He does works hard at his fitness. He's an off-spinning all-rounder, but he's working extremely hard at his batting. So we're really, I'm really pleased to be working with him. He's, oh, we love working with players who are driven and uh, really keen for success. So good stuff, mate. How, how did you find the peak performance program? Um, really, really helpful with my mindset. What was the sort of the main thing you took out of it? Um, working on my weaknesses and strengths and building on them. Yep, excellent. All right, good stuff. Well, we're here in the dark, got the car lights on so you can see us. Just thought we'd do a quick interview, a quick chat while we wait for Chris to be picked up. Cheers, Chris. Thanks. Hey, vlog. I just wanted to give you a little bit of advice about playing off the back foot. Um, something that I see a lot is players who don't actually transfer their weight into their back leg. Uh, growing up, generally, we get so used to just getting on the front foot. We play on sort of low, slow wickets, or um, even when the ball does bounce high on synthetic wickets, you can sort of get away. It's sort of tennis ball, and you can get away with playing off the front foot. So I see a lot of sort of 14, 15, 16-year-olds, and even older, come to sessions with me and they haven't actually learned to get their weight right into their back foot and spend time and um, have their head over their back foot. So really important when you're going back, you're always going back and across, no matter what shot it is, if you're cutting, back foot driving, defending, pulling, or playing off your hip, whatever shot it is, you've always got to go back and across and you've got to try and get your weight into your back foot. Try and get it on the inside of your back foot if you go too far back, then you're going to fall over. So you've got to try and go with your head on the inside of your back foot, back and across, always back and across, but get that weight into the back foot. Don't sort of hit and then sort of fall forward or hit and fall forward as you're doing it. Just got to get back and try and keep your weight in your back foot. So there's a little tip for you guys about playing on the back foot. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's content. Thanks very much for sharing, um, spending your time watching this. I truly am grateful for all of you guys who are giving support to Cricket Mentoring, what we're doing. We had a, a great achievement today. We ticked over 25,000 Instagram followers, so legends, thank you very much. Myself and Simon, we're very grateful for the support you give us. Um, please like and comment on the video below. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. The more people that see it, the better. We're trying to get this message out to as many people around the world as we can. So you're all legends. We appreciate everything and all the support you give us. So we'll leave it there and I'll see you again soon.